Hello, welcome to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here to do a reading for the sign, a love reading for the sign of Taurus. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Thank you, Taurus, for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Yes, I usually do a general reading and whatever comes out, I, I just, I just, uh, I read the cards. But this time I said I want to focus on love. So this is only about love. This is what we want. We want just love. What a sign of Taurus. Overall energy. Look at you got messages of love coming in. That's what I'm talking about, Taurus. Yeah. Messages of love. What we got for the Taurus Collective? Regarding love. You're going to have some choices, but you know which choice to make with that two of wands. It's telling you to be strong. Don't, don't, fe don't fear. Maybe you... Been having bad luck with, with, with your picker, picking the wrong ones. Yeah, it's telling you to be strong. Okay. Be strong because there's a new beginning coming in with that death card. What else we got for the Taurus Collective? Oh, what is going on? Stressed. And what is the Five of Swords in reverse? Okay, you know, you know, if you've been watching that I, I'm, I'm learning reversals because I like reversals. So I'm going to have to look that up. What's at the bottom? The Page of Pentacles. Concentrating on your money. Okay. Why is the Two of Wands here for the Taurus Collective regarding love? Oh, you're making a decision to move forward. To calm the waters. Strength here. Okay. Be strong in your energy, your, your single energy with this nine of pentacles. I would like to look and see what else nine of pentacles means. Because I know it's a single energy. Let's just peek and see what else it means. Oh, you're going to be successful. Okay. Okay. Oh, you be strong in your self-love. It's self-love, too. Okay. So be strong while you're being single. Get to know yourself all over again. Okay. The death card. Okay. Okay. It's gonna, you're putting an end to this relationship that you're in because um, it's unrequited. You guys uh, don't get along with the Ace of Cups coming out in reverse. And it's stressing you out here with this Nine of Swords. What's going on here? Okay. It's stressing you out because you have to start over. And you don't you don't want to start over. That's why it's telling you here to be strong. But, um, yeah, with this Scorpio energy here, the Death card is saying that it's unrequited love. With the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Swords. Clarified by the Ace of Wands, talks about talk about you. You you feel um, anxious or nervous about a new beginning. You really don't want to start over in love. Yeah, but you're working on yourself, so that's wonderful. This Five of Swords in reverse. Why is this here for Taurus Collective? Okay, single, some more single energy, the King of Swords, clear communication. Okay, let me look up that Five of Swords real quick, the Five of Swords in um, reverse. I know the Five of Swords upright talks about um, walking away and um, being victorious over your enemies. Oh, Okay. The Five of Swords in Reverse is that's the, the, the funeral card. Burials. Conflict may be ending. Okay, conflict may be ending. 
or escalating. And someone may be plotting against you. Making amends and reconciliation. Okay. The conflict may be ending and you're cutting it off with this King of Swords. Or communication is going to happen and you guys are going to... Um, the communication is going to come in and you're going to make amends. You're going to reconcile. Okay? This is what's going on in your love life at this time. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't make it fit. But you have made a decision to be single and just work on yourself. Because that relationship just wasn't working and it's stressing you out. But they're coming back for you. They, they want to talk. And they want to offer you a full cup with the Knight of Cups. But you're being told to pray about it. The, the Wheel of Fortune is here, which, which talks about... Um, it, I think the Wheel of Fortune is New Beginnings. I know that it's universe working in your favor. Let me just double check and make sure I give you your full reading. Yeah, you got to pray about it because this could be your soulmate. But they're definitely coming. They're coming towards you. And it's a successful card. Good luck and all that. So just pray about it and, and, and then it's going to come your way. Whatever you need to do, it'll be shown to you. Universe is waking, working in your favor, like I said. It's, and as far as love, which this reading is, the, the, the Wheel of Fortune talks about relationship changes. Okay? So you guys might decide just to be friends or something like that. And since you're single, it also means to get out and mingle. Okay? Yeah, lay them burdens down and make that decision. Get out of that confusion. Because luck is on your side for your total abundance. It's going to hurt with that Ten of Swords, but at least it's over. Because you're cutting out any nonsense. And working on your money. But this person still wants uh, a renewal. But you're working on yourself. So you may just put an end to it. Scorpio energy again. Looking good. Okay. It's up to you. You know. Let's get you some advice from the Romance Angels thing. Regarding this reading. It looks to me like you have made up your mind. You know. You're, you're struggling with it though. Like. I, I, we just don't get along. I just. I don't know. You know, you don't, you know, y'all don't get along. You don't want this anymore. They stress you out. I feel like a band is around my head, around my forehead, and that's where stress headaches usually happen. So it feels like it's a band around my forehead. So somebody is really stressed, okay? And it's probably best to move forward. We got any love uh, advice for the sign of Taurus regarding this reading? True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. See? That's what I'm saying. You know your story. I don't know your story. But just know that the universe is, the universe is working on your behalf. Pray about it. Anything else for the Taurus Collective? Make the effort. Great love. Is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And it's saying honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's telling you. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Be clear. Communicate clearly. On what you want. And where you want the relationship to go. Anything else for the Taurus Collective? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. 
Yes. Anything else for the Taurus Collective? Okay. Um, that is your reading, Taurus. Good luck with this. Someone has some decisions to be made, okay? Uh, regarding this uh, situation. But from what I'm seeing is, you know, you want to do some self-healing. And, so, and that's okay to take some time to do that. You don't have to rush in. Nothing. And if this isn't working out and y'all done broke up, you know, you, 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 you got to go into prayer. Go into prayer and, and, and let, let the universe work. It's magic, because that's what that's what God does. Okay? Whatever is best for you, whether you know it know is best for you or not. <laughs> okay. Like, share, and subscribe if you took anything from this reading. I appreciate you guys coming back to my channel. And good luck with this. Okay. And you guys take care. <laughs>